wonderful. Boy, what a band. It sure sounds great, doesn't it? Listen to those drums. That kid sounds like a professional. Not so loud, dear. You'll embarrass all of us. He's right, though, Harriet. Listen to that beat. Where's Ray? Well, I don't know. Well, maybe he's just setting out this number. Oh, there he is, over there by the guitar player. What's he doing there? Rick! Oh, hi, Pop. What happened, son? I guess there was a little misunderstanding. They didn't need a drummer tonight. What they wanted was a guy to carry the drums. You mean a band boy? Yeah, I thought it was too good to be true. I'll say anything, though, Pop. I don't want to embarrass anybody. It's hard enough explaining why I was wearing this tuxedo. <laughs> you get things so... <laughs> I'm supposed to be the guy who gets things mixed up. Gee, this is a shame. Well, that's okay, Pop. They're real nice guys. At least I got to meet them all. Well, pardon me. I got to get them some more cokes. That's part of my job. Hi, Mom. Pop. Oh, oh, hi, Dave. Hi, Dave. I see you found out about Rick. Yeah, how about that? Oh, you know Virginia, don't you? Yeah, oh, hello, Virginia. Hey, evidently, there was a misunderstanding. They just wanted to carry the drums in and set them up. It's awful, isn't it? Well, oh, Ricky didn't seem too upset about it. What's he gonna do, the poor kid? Well, we can't just stand around here with sour faces all night. He's being brave about it. We might as well make the best of it. Well, we'll see you later. Okay. Should we dance? Terrific. They got a wonderful beat. I'm sure that guy's one of the best drummers in the world. Why don't you ask him to let you sit in for numbers? Oh, I couldn't do that. It would be too embarrassing with Mom and the committee and all. I think name bands let guys sit in, don't they? Oh, no. Only in case of emergency. Somebody's taken sick or something. Yeah. <laughs> Gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Would Ricky Nelson please come to the bandstand? Poor kid, they probably want him to lug some more cokes up on the bandstand. Our drummer's been taken sick, and we'd like Ricky to sit in with us. Well, how about that? Hey, Rick, they're looking for you. I just heard. Good, Good luck, dear. Here I am, Tommy. Go get him, Rick. Did you hear the wonderful news? The drummer's been taken sick. <laughs> what a terrible thing to say. Oh. <laughs> Seriously ill, is he, Dave? No, the band manager just took him out to the bus. He says he thinks it'd be all right if he just rests for a little while. There he goes. Say, pardon me, fellas. I'm Dr. Williams. They just announced your drummer was taken sick. I wonder if I could be of any help. Oh, thanks a lot, Doc. I'm the drummer, but I'm really not sick. At least I was until I started playing gin with this card shark here masquerading as a band manager. Don't listen to him. He's a sore loser. No, I'll tell you what happened. We just got word that the kid who's been acting as band boy for us tonight thought he was hired to play drums. So Tommy suggested that Al here get a convenient headache or something. Oh, well, that's darn nice of you, fellas. How did you find out about Ricky? Some other kid standing by the bandstand told us. He said this Ricky's a terrific drummer. Oh, yeah, he is. Oh, say, wait a minute. Uh, this other kid, was his name Dave? Yeah, that's right. He says he's known Ricky all his life. <laughs> yeah, sure has. 
Well, I'll see you later, fellas. Thanks a lot, Doc. It's okay. Well, and don't say anything, will you, Doc? With these cards I'm getting, it may take me quite a while to get well again. <laughs> Yeah, that was just great, Ricky. Oh, thank you. Thanks for the chance to play. Say, how's the drummer feeling? Have you heard? Oh, I'm sure he's fine. Say, I'd like you to meet my mother and father. Oh, how do you do? It's nice to know you. My brother, you? Dave. Hi. Hi. Oh, uh, Dave is your brother? Yeah, have you met before? Well, yes, uh, we were just talking about a few things. I met your dad before, too, years ago, but he doesn't remember it. Oh, really? That's right. Maybe you'll remember the incident. You and your band were playing a one-nighter in Indiana, and your trumpet player was taken sick. I was in high school at the time, just like Ricky here. You gave me my first chance to sit in with a big band. Oh. <laughs> of course I remember. It's nice to see you again. It's taken me a long time to return the favor, but I'm sure glad I had a chance tonight. Well, thanks a lot. So am I. Pop still got his card if you got a spare saxophone around. Great! <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a little rusty on the saxophone. Well, we can't let the night go by without some sort of a number from the Nelson family. Oh, well, I tell you what, Tommy, I see your drummer's back on the bandstand. Uh, how about Rick singing a rhythm and blues tune, and the rest of us will give him a little moral support? Good deal. What do you want to sing, Rick? How about I'm walking? Fine, I'll make the announcement. Do you think it's all right for him to sing, too? Oh, sure, it's great experience for him. Hey, remember that harmony we were working out on my gal Sally the other night? Oh, no, forget it. You're not going to get me up there to sing. <laughs> Folks, may I have your attention? Ricky Nelson is going to sing I'm Walking. Well, I tell you, the family's sort of been working on a barbershop quartet. Would you like to hear them? You think we can coax them up here? Uh, pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> here we are right here. Uh, the number we've been working on is My Gal Sal in the key of F in a nice, easy tempo. All right. Here we go, fellas. They call her frivolous Sal, a peculiar sort of a Sorrow and care 
the sound A peculiar sort of a gal With a heart that was mellow And all round good fellow Was my old pal Your trouble, sorrow and care She was always willing to share A wild sort of devil But dead on the level was mine.